Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the tangent line to a curve R of t at a particular point given with coordinates x0, y0, z0 that's parallel to our prime of t. Okay, so in this example we want to find the parametric equations for the tangent line and I'd really like to draw your attention to this idea that this is a tangent line. We're not looking for a unit tangent vector, this is different. This is a unit, this is a tangent line to the helix. Okay, so in this example I'd like to take a look at finding the parametric equations for the tangent line to the helix, R of t, given by 2 cosine of t, sine t, and t. And I'd really like to draw your attention to this being a tangent line. So this is not a unit tangent vector, this is a tangent line to the helix at a given point. Okay, so to do this we're going to follow a couple of steps. So the first thing we need to do is we need to do step one, we need to find r prime of t. Okay, so let's compute r prime of t. r prime of t is given by uh, negative 2 sine t, second component cosine t, and the third component is just 1. Step 2, let's find r prime of t naught. Now the question that we're facing is what is this value of t? We are given a point p which looks like 0, 1, pi over 2. All right, and we need to find what is the value of t at this given point. All right, so here's the picture. We've got our 3D coordinate system, so there's the x, there's the y, and there's the z. And our helix is doing, you know, something like this. It's going out and around and around, up it goes as time goes by. And we want to know what time, essentially what time is it or what t value is it when we've reached this point over 0, up 1, pi over 2. What is t at that point. Alright, so there's a couple of ways we could figure this out. Now we know that this point lies on the curve, r of t. So let's set 2 sine of t equal to 0, we'll set sine of t equal to 1, and then we'll set t equal to pi over 2. Well already we pretty much have our answer. We know that t must equal pi over 2. Let's just check it in the other equations to make sure everything works. So here we've got cosine of t equals 0, and that only happens when t equals pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, etc. And certainly this idea that t equals pi over 2 works for our third component as well. And similarly, sine of t equals 1, well, when is that true? That happens for t equals pi over 2 or 5 pi over 2, etc. Well, we already have our answer because, again, this third component was so helpful in determining t naught. All right, so we still need to compute what is r prime of t naught. What is r prime at pi over 2? So plugging in, we get negative 2 sine of pi over 2, cosine pi over 2, and last component is simply just 1. And so what this works out to be is this is a negative 2, 0, and 1. All right, so that tells us kind of, not the slope per se, but it tells us the direction of the tangent line at that point. Now what we want is we want the equation of a line. Okay, so step three, find the equation of 
tangent line. And again, this is not a unit tangent vector. This is a line. So I'm just going to really emphasize this. We are looking for, draw a picture. Here goes our helix up and up and up. We are looking for a line that hits that point and it's going to be tangent to that line, to that curve. Okay, so we're looking for this line. You could call it L for a tangent line. And so it should be a line that goes, you know, in both directions. It's not just a stubby little vector. It is a line that's parameterized with some parameter t. Okay, so let's talk about this. We've got our tangent line, the tangent line L, and it's given by our point x naught, y naught, z naught, plus t times this direction vector negative 2, 0, 1. So plugging in the pieces that we need, let's see x naught, y naught, z naught, those values were our point 0, 1 pi over 2 plus t times this direction negative 2, 0, 1, that's the direction we need to move in. So it looks like our tangent line is described by 0 minus 2t in the first component, second component 1 plus 0t, and third component pi over 2 plus t. Now the direction said we really want the parametric equations, so line L looks like x is negative 2t, y is given by 1 just 1 plus 0t, and then z looks like a pi over 2 plus t.